let electricity get to my house? Thank you for that awesome question. I get really excited about this because it's just a fascinating process. And it's probably the most commonly asked question to employees of APS. So I'm gonna break this down in two basic steps. We have to make electricity, so that's one step. We call that generation. And then we have to get the electricity to those that need it. That's distribution. So we'll talk about distribution in a second. I've got this pot of boiling water right in front of me, and this pot of boiling water represents conventional generation. And underneath that pot of boiling water is a flame. The heat source is representative of nuclear energy, coal energy, natural gas energy, and these are all different fuels that can be used to generate heat. Solar and wind are other generation sources, although the way they generate energy is a little different. And what happens is those, those fuels create the heat, and that heat will boil water, which creates steam, and that steam will push through a turbine. And when it pushes through that turbine, the turbine will start to spin, just like a pinwheel. As that turbine spins, it spins the generator, which has a bunch of magnets in it. And as those magnets spin, it creates a magnetic field. And when the magnetic field interacts with the copper wires that are in there, that interaction gives us electricity. So now once we have our electricity, what happens with it? See, our product is a little bit different than most because there's no effective way to store large amounts of electricity. That means we have to generate just the right amount of electricity to meet how much people use. So to get electricity from the generator to your house, that requires some more equipment. This system's called the Transmission and Distribution Grid, or you may have heard it called the grid. See, the grid is a network of really big power poles and wires, and they're all connected to smaller poles and wires. And they have a couple areas in between called substations. So you can think of all of this like city roads and highways. The really big power poles are like highways and they carry a lot of electricity and you can travel long distances without stopping. Then when you get off the highway, you're on smaller city streets. So when you go from highway to a street, you use an intersection. Well, for electricity, we use a substation. The substation is how we change electricity so that it can travel on a different street. So that when you get home and flip that switch, electricity's there waiting for you. And as simple as it sounds, there's a lot of science and technology and engineering and math and creative thinking that goes into getting electricity safely and reliably to your home. To learn more about this stuff or find answers to some of your other great questions, go to APS.com slash AskAPS and don't forget to send in questions so we can keep the information coming to you.